Most people have heard of Homo neanderthalensis, or the Neanderthal, the human-like species that existed around the time of the first modern humans. But did you know that there is another species of beings that were just as similar to humans as Neanderthals, and that lived even more recently? They're called the Denisovans, and they lived and existed across Asia during the Lower and Middle Paleolithic eras. Welcome to Crazy Histories, where we bring you the craziest, weirdest facts from human history. Some of the things discussed in this video may not be suitable for everyone, viewer discretion is advised. Who even are the Denisovans? For those of you that aren't familiar with the names of geologic eras, the Denisovans were around during the last ice age. If that's still not very helpful, they were living up until about 30,000 years ago. They were closely related to both modern humans and to the Neanderthals. Denisovan Remains The existence of the Denisovans is something that we didn't know about until very recently. In fact, it wasn't until 2010 that scientists could say for sure that this was a brand new species of hominid. The first remains to be identified as Denisovan were found in a cave in the Altai Mountains in Siberia in 2008. What they found was a tiny, roughly pea-sized, bone fragment. Because the weather conditions are so intensely cold in Siberia, which helps to preserve ancient DNA, scientists were able to determine that this fragment came from the finger of a young girl who died roughly 40,000 years ago. A few years later in 2010, a team of scientists in Germany were able to sequence the DNA they extracted from the bone fragment. They compared it to the genomes of humans and Neanderthals and determined that it was different enough to be considered a new species. They named this newly discovered species after the cave that the fragment was found in, the Denisova Cave. In this same cave, paleontologists have found fossils from five different individuals that they have determined to be Denisovans. These samples included three teeth, and one other bone fragment. They also found something else that was very interesting. They found a bone fragment that was shown to come from a Denisovan slash Neanderthal hybrid. Specifically, her mother was fully Neanderthal and her father was fully Denisovan. This tells us that the two species were closely enough related to be able to successfully intermingle. In addition to this cave having Denisovan samples, fragments from Homo sapiens and Neanderthals have all been found. It's worth noting that one particular Neanderthal fragment has been shown to be contemporary to the first Denisovan finger bone found. This is just even more proof that the two groups lived at the same time and in the same place. The only other proof we have that this group existed comes from hundreds of miles away in the Beishia Karst cave in China. In 1980, a Buddhist monk made his way to the cave to pray in solitude. When he returned, he came back with much more than just spiritual insights. He brought with him a piece of strange bone he found. It was obviously a jaw bone, but the teeth were much larger than any human teeth. He gave it to the living Buddha, and he in turn handed it off to researchers at a university, where it sat for several decades. Eventually, in 2019, the sample was examined again, and it was shown to not be the jawbone from a Neanderthal like scientists originally thought. Instead, the sample was found to belong to the recently discovered Denisovans, this discovery showed that they had a larger reach than scientists thought before. Where Denisovans came from We think that Denisovans, Neanderthals, and humans all share a common ancestor, called the Homo heidelbergensis, that lived in Africa. Sometime between 300,000 and 400,000 years ago, a group of Homo heidelbergensis migrated out of Africa and expanded east and west. Those that went west into Europe evolved into Neanderthals, and the group that went east into Asia became the Denisovans. The Homo heidelbergensis that stayed in Africa went on to evolve into the modern humans Homo sapiens. Experts think that the split between the species has to do with environmental and geographic factors. Survival in the Himalayan mountains is completely different from the conditions of Europe. The Eurasian ice sheet was also expanding around the time of the split, which would change the environment significantly. This in turn would affect how species adapted. Since they are such a newly discovered species, it's pretty likely that a lot of things that were attributed to Neanderthals may actually have been Denisovan. This could be tools or other artifacts like that. There could also be more bones that were previously thought to be Neanderthal that are actually Denisovan or a hybrid of the two. We won't know for sure though, unless those samples are genetically tested. Denisovans, Neanderthals, and humans. 
Like we've already said, these three groups did all exist in the same time period, and eventually the same place in the world. Anything we know about the Denisovans as a species has been pulled from their DNA sequence, meaning we don't really know when they evolved or went extinct. That means that it's hard for scientists to give an accurate time frame that they would have lived. Right now, though, they know the species existed 80,000 years ago, and think they may have been around from 500,000 to 30,000 years ago. This is based on carbon dating the fossils that they have found. For reference, modern Homo sapiens have been around for 300,000 years, and scientists think that Neanderthals existed from 430,000 to 40,000 years ago. So the Denisovans overlap Neanderthals for at least 40,000 years and Humas for 170,000 years. This leaves plenty of time for them to have interacted with the Neanderthals and humans of the time. We've already seen that there is physical proof that scientists have that they bred with Neanderthals, but there is a lot of evidence that shows they probably did with humans too. We think this because there has been Denisovan DNA found in the modern human genome. There are a few modern groups in East Asia, particularly the Melanesians that may have inherited up to 5% of their genetic material from the Denisovans. The Melanesians are native to some Pacific islands that span from Papua New Guinea all the way to Fiji. Scientists think that the Denisovans that lived in East Asia likely interbred with the more direct ancestors of the present-day Melanesians while they were still on the mainland. More evidence of interbreeding can be found closer to where the Denisovan samples have been found. Tibetans and Han Chinese also have evidence of the Denisovans in their DNA. In 2014, Scientists discovered that the ethnic Sherpas probably inherited a gene from the Denisovans that is called a super-athlete gene variant. This is what helps them to be able to breathe easier at higher altitudes. Even though we know the Denisovans and Neanderthals did intermingle, we can't really say how much they did. It's a lot harder to study the combination since Neanderthals aren't still around to compare current DNA to Denisovan appearances. Like has been said a few times already, we haven't found enough samples to do much research on the Denisovans, but scientists think they would have had dark skin, hair, and eyes. When the German team sequenced the genome and the DNA they found, they found that it didn't have much genetic diversity. That implies that there weren't very many Denisovans, at least not compared to the other two hominid species around at the same time. Using some complicated technology and genetics information in 2014, scientists were able to predict several things about Denisovan appearances. Some of these predictions were that they probably had a flatter skull, like Neanderthals did. The scientists found several differences between the two species too. The Denisovan faces were probably more broad than humans or Neanderthals, and their fingers were probably longer as well. Interestingly, they predicted that the Denisovan's jawbones would be longer than the Neanderthal or modern human. Remember the Denisovan fossil found in China? It was a nearly perfect match to what they predicted it would look like. The downside to trying to use the DNA samples we have is that scientists have found so few fossils, and not all of them have been the best for doing this type of research. So it's hard to say what was normal for the species, and what was just what this individual's features were. Once more fossils and samples have been found, they can test those too, and get a more accurate reading on the species as a whole. Have you ever heard of this interesting species before? Let us know your thoughts in the comments. While you're at it, be sure to like and subscribe to our channel.